All my life I've been waiting for, I've been praying for, for the people to say that we don't want to fight no more. There'll be no more wars, and our children will play one day, one day. Hey guys, Lennon here from Lennon Guitar and today we are going to learn on how to play and sing One Day by Matisse Yahoo in guitar. Now this is this tutorial is basically for beginners and like for kids and for beginners like uh, for those of you who uh, want to play or just touch the guitar for the first time you wanted to play this song on, on the guitar. So we're going to learn four basic chords. This is really easy. So I'm pretty sure that you can do this like right away after um, watching this lesson. Okay, so the chords that we're going to play are the G, D, E minor, and C chord. All right, so I'll break down to you each of the chords so that you'll know and you'll be able to follow it with your guitar. Okay, first up... Okay, let me go closer here uh, to the camera. Now, first up, we're going to learn the G chord. Now, the G chord is we're going to use our third finger that is on the third fret, first string. Now, this is the first fret, second fret, and this is the third fret. So, we have the first string, second string, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth string. Now, place your third finger on the first th uh, string, third fret. Now what we're going to do is to strum from the 4th string going down. Okay? Now we're not going to use or strum the 6th th the and the 5th string because again, this chord or this trill is for beginners. So for those of you like uh, most of the beginners actually don't uh, can't can't really do and handle the uh, the the G chord, the exact G chord, which is on the sixth here on the first and on the fifth. So that is why I'm making this up for those who wants to learn this song and uh, for those who just started to learn guitar. Now again, we're going to strum from fourth string going down. This is entirely done for the whole song. Fourth string going down strumming. We're going to do it in G, E minor, D, and C chord. Now again, the first chord is G chord. So again, place your third finger on the first string, third fret. First fret, second fret, third fret. Okay, first string, third fret. Okay, so that's the G chord. Now the next chord that we have is D. Now on D chord, you need to use your third finger on the second string. 3rd fret, just above the uh, the G note here, just above the G note, you have here the D note. So place on the 3rd fret, 2nd string, your 3rd finger, and your 1st finger on, this, on the 3rd string, 2nd fret, here. Okay, 1st fret, 2nd fret of 3rd string, and 3rd fret, 2nd string. Again, we're going to strum from the fourth string going down. So that's the sound. So actually, what we're going to, what we're having here, and this is a D sustained two chords. Okay. But again, we want to make this as easy as possible for for the beginner. So we're going this. Uh, we're going this. Uh, we're going to use this chord. Okay, so that's the second chord. Now the third chord is so easy. I need you to place your second finger on the fourth string, second fret. This is the fourth string, first fret, second fret. So fourth string, second fret. And again, strum from the fourth string going down. Okay, now that's the E minor chord. Now the next chord is C. Now you don't need to pull out or take out your second finger in there. Just add your first finger on the, on the first fret, second string here. 
second string, first fret. So you still have your second finger here on the fourth string, second fret. Just add your first finger on the second string, first fret. And again, you strum from the fourth string going down. So we have here the C chord. So that's the four chords that we're going to use for the song one day. So again, let's go back. So we started with the G chord, third finger on the first string, third fret. From fourth string going down, we strum. And then the D chord, your third finger, move it up on the second string, same fret, that's on the third fret, and then put your first finger on the third string. 2nd fret, again we strum from the 4th string going down. And then we go to the E minor chord, just put your 3rd finger on the 4th string. And that is on the 2nd fret. Again we strum from the 4th string going down. That's the E minor. Now we go to the C, we add, just take your E minor chord in there and we add the C note which is in the 2nd string, 1st fret. So you still have your 2nd finger on the 4th string, 2nd fret. So again we strum from 4th string going down. Okay, so for the whole song we're going to strum from 4th string going down. Now what we're going to do is to strum, is to make 2 strums in each chord. For example, if I'm, on, if I'm on G, fourth string going down, I'm, uh, I'm, I will strum fourth string going down. So again, two strums per chord. So this is one, two, D, two, E minor, one, two, C, one, two. Again, G, one, two, D, one, two, E minor, one, two, C, one, Two again G two D one two E minor one two again C So this is the same thing for the whole song two strums per chord you start with a G and then the D and the E minor and then the C okay and how do you strum again just strum from fourth string going down Now we're going to play and uh, sing. Let's see. Okay, now let's play it a little bit faster. But again, uh, when you are trying to learn the chord, you can do this as slow as you want. The most important thing is you will be familiar with the chords. Your finger will know which strings you should be able to press. All right, so be familiar with the chord first. So do it as slow as you can. And uh, if you'll be familiar with this, with the chords, then you can start building up your speed while you're trying to sing or hum together with the song. So for example, let's start. Sometimes I lay under the moon I thank God I'm breathing Then I pray don't take me soon Cause I am here for a reason Sometimes when my tears I drown But I never let it get me down and when negativity surrounds, I know someday it all turn around because all oh, my life I've been waiting for, I've been praying for, for the people to say that we don't want to fight no more, there'll be no wars, and the children will play one day, one day. Okay guys, so that was the uh, the chords for the song One Day. Again, we started with a G, and then D, and then E minor, and then C chord. Now you need to strum from the fourth string going down, and you need to strum twice only per chord. So one, two, one, two, one, two, one, 
too. And that's gonna be uh, the whole thing for, for the whole strum and the whole voice for the whole song. And again, you can start slow and just for you to be familiar with the, with the chords and with your fingers on the string. And after that, if you're familiar with it, if you can do it uh, fairly fast enough, then you can build up your speed and then you can learn and sing the whole song. All right, so hope you learned something today. And again, that is the one day, a simple um, way to play uh, one day by, by, by uh, Mati Siahu in, in guitar. All right, hope you have a good time. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Again, this is Lennon from Lennon Guitar saying adios. Thank you. Peace out.